Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're talking about the baseball recruiting process. If you want to play in college, I'm going to show you how in this video. I'm going to take you through the timeline of kind of when everything happens in the recruiting process. And then I'm going to give you some tips to get noticed by coaches without spending tons of money. We're just going to hop right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to Upswing Baseball, where we give you tips and drills to improve your baseball skills. So subscribe and hit the bell if you want to take your baseball skills to the next level. And let's just do this. So the recruiting process has been starting earlier and earlier for players. Right now, it starts during freshman year of high school. This is the time when you should be getting your school list put together, that list of schools you wanna to go to. It should be long, don't limit yourself to like 10 schools, like at least 50, 100, 200, something like that. But also making your highlight videos, setting up those recruiting profiles, and maybe even start reaching out to some coaches, send out some emails, send out your videos to some coaches. But it's not like super intense during freshman year. This is just when the process kind of starts going. But during sophomore year, that's when things really start heating up a little bit. Schools heavily recruit guys during this time, especially the D1 schools. There is a rule though that schools can't directly talk to players or yeah, guys that they're recruiting until I think after sophomore year, I'm pretty sure. But after that sophomore year, during the sophomore summer, that's when guys start committing D1 and that goes on all the way through the end of junior year. Therefore, during that time, you should really be reaching out to all the schools you're interested in going in, contacting all the coaches, sending them your highlight videos and letting them know you exist and you want to go to their school really bad. Play as much as you can in tournaments and get yourself seen. Maybe do some showcases, definitely not mandatory though. But after junior year, D1 schools for the most part are done recruiting altogether. They have they have all of their recruiting classes, but your chances of playing college baseball are not done. There's still D2, D3, NAIA, and JUCO. They're still recruiting during that time of senior year. But definitely don't just wait for senior year to start trying to get recruited. There are bigger opportunities before that. I'm just saying during senior year, if you still haven't found a place to play, you there's still a chance. So that was a quick general recruiting calendar. That's just kind of a template. So your recruiting process should go something like that. But now let's get into some tips to get recruited. And the first one I got for you guys is to focus on your skills. You have to be good enough. No amount of showcases, camps, tournaments, money spent can get you a college scholarship and get you committed if you do not have the skills. So working on improving your skills has to come first. Like for example, if you have the option to either go to the field and get some reps in, in the cage, get some swings in, or stay home and send out your, send out your highlight video to a couple coaches, most of the time, Go out to the field, get your swings in, get yourself better. That's more important. Of course, you do need to send out emails to coaches to get your name out there, but skills come first, recruiting process always comes second. You have to ask yourself, do I have what it takes to play at the next level right now? Don't let your ego get in the way. Just take a step back, look at your skills, and like, and ask yourself. Compare yourself with guys who you know are gonna play in college. Do I have what they have? If the answer to that question is no, that's totally fine. You'll get there eventually. You just gotta put that work in. But don't expect that if all you do is practice and hone your skills, that coaches are just gonna come knocking on your door trying to get you to come to their school. You still have to go through that recruiting process that I already talked about. You gotta make those videos, send out those emails, go to those tournaments. But if you don't have the skills, all that would be a waste of time. So the next tip to get recruited is to make coaches like you as a person and kind of just stand out. I'm talking about attitude, your personality, how you hold yourself on the field, and how you present yourself to coaches. You gotta understand, coaches see hundreds of thousands of players. There are like over 450,000 high school baseball players in the US. And a lot of guys kind of have similar skill sets, so they're just, they just kind of blend together a little bit. So what you gotta do is make yourself stand out from the rest. You gotta show your character. When a coach or a scout sees two players with similar skill sets, tiebreaker is gonna be the guy with the better attitude, the better personality and character traits that he wants at his school in his program. That means on the field, always hustling, of course, and then also being a team first player, always doing what you can to help your team, not yourself and your own stats. And then also being a leader and being vocal are great things too. Also off the field, when you're sending those emails to the coaches, sending out your highlight videos, you gotta make yourself stand out there too. Coaches get tons of emails from players, send them, sending them their videos, saying how great they are and why they deserve to come to that school. So you gotta make yourself stand out a little bit. You gotta show the coach you did your research on the school. You gotta make it personal, you know? Show, show him what makes you special and that you're not just another player. So at the beginning of this video, I told you I was gonna show you how to get recruited without spending that big money, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. The big money drainer in this recruiting process is camps and showcases. And I'm here to tell you, you do not need to do them. They don't hurt, they can help a little bit actually, but for the most part, they are definitely not not worth the money. There are definitely more productive ways to spend your time during this recruiting process. I think you do need to play on travel teams though because you need to get yourself out there somehow and 
Travel teams are a great way to improve your skills and see the other talent and how you kind of stack up to them. But the number one biggest thing that you need to get yourself recruited is a good solid highlight video, which can be done yourself. You don't need to hire somebody to do it for you. Since we have technology, coaches today don't really have to go out to all these camps and showcases to see who they want to recruit. They can just sit at home at their desk watching all these videos that players send them and then decide who they want. And really, and a lot of the times they decide from these videos who they want to go out and see. So you have to send out this solid highlight video to coaches with personal emails that stand out like I already said. Do your research on these schools and build a good school list, good long one. Try to get these coaches' attention as much as you can without being annoying. If you do that and you have the skills, there's gonna be enough in your video and in your emails that some coach at some school somewhere is gonna wanna check you out eventually. I can't promise you like a full scholarship if you do all these things, but I can promise you, you're pretty much giving yourself the best chance possible to get yourself recruited. So that's the end of this video. I will be making more videos like this in the future, like going in depth to the things I talked about, like how to shoot your recruiting video and lots of other stuff like that. But that's all for today. Leave me any questions or suggestions down in the comments. I would really appreciate seeing those. Follow me on Instagram with the link in the description and check out another one of my videos right down there. If you did all those things, you're my new favorite, but I gotta go. So like and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you later.